Wally here and I hope you're having a good day because today I want to talk about another game from my gaming collection and that is Nintendo GameCube's 1080 Avalanche Snowboarding, probably the best $10 I ever spent, but I will get right into that in a second. I'm going to tell you my history with snowboarding games leading up to 1080 Avalanche. Now, growing up, I saw a lot of different snowboarding games, mainly for the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation systems. N64, I think, had Snowboard Kids. There was Cold Borders on the PlayStation. I mean, I always wanted to play these type of games. I would see the kiosks at, say, Mervyn's or Sears or all these department stores that used to have video game kiosks randomly, Toys R Us, uh, and that alike. But I never, ever purchased a snowboarding game. I never rented a snowboarding game, but I thought they looked a lot of fun. And then into the PlayStation and Nintendo 64 eras, I did get to play a lot of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 specifically, and a bit of 3 went on the GameCube and the PlayStation 2. So once we hit that era, I started noticing games like SSX. That was EA's snowboarding game. I had a, uh, you know, the my best friend's brother liked to play SSX Tricky. I had a lot of high school, um, what was it called, uh, students that, uh, you know, at my school that played th those games, but I... I never got a chance to play those either. So I was like, man, I need to get my hands on a snowboarding game. I hear they're really good. Uh, I hear they're really awesome. And I just wanted to dive in and doing tricks and speeding down, you know, these snow hills seemed really cool. So when 1080 Avalanche came out, I kind of had my eye on it because I heard good things about 1080 snowboarding for the Nintendo 64. This is made by Nintendo, so you know you have that awesome silla quality. And what could go wrong? So when I saw this at as ten dollars in like a bargain bin at like Walmart or GameStop or something like that, I knew I had to pick it up. I couldn't pass up a ten dollar game. This game came out at I believe forty nine ninety nine. So it was definitely a you know a big release. But I guess towards the end of maybe the GameCube's life, they were trying to get rid of it. So I snagged it took it home and had a blast playing this. This is a snowboarding game with tricks, but the tricks are not the highlight. It's speeding down these these courses, these mountains full of snow with really cool music playing while you're trying to get to the bottom as fast as you can or trying to collect different metals that are positioned throughout the course in different nooks and crannies. It's just been a, a joy to try to find all those different medals and unlocking different snowboards and different courses as I played this every single weekend. And it was it's one of my favorite nostalgic memories that kind of bridged the gap between high school and college for me. But I remember just sitting down and uh, being in my living room, and it was before there was like widescreen, flat screen, you know, the HD television. We had a tube television I hooked my GameCube up to with the, you know, the AV cables, uh, the the red, yellow, and, and white cables in the back. And I remember just sitting there, and I, and I think it was like a spring day or it might be a winter where it was really bright outside but nice and cool. And I was enjoying, you know, this cold game, you know, a snow game. And uh, it was I was really immersed into trying to find out all those medals or find all the medals I should say, and you know just play this game and, and for the first time. And I got to do it, and my family was my brothers were gone, and my parents were gone, and just being able to play this, I just have a lot of good memories. Listen to this soundtrack, and it has a really good soundtrack, or uh, I should say I don't know if it's really good, but it it grew on me over time. It says features new music from Cauterize, and I didn't even know what the band Cauterize was, but now I I really enjoy hearing these sounds, these these, um, these tracks over and over again. I recorded footage, as you are seeing throughout this video, and just delving back into this gives me so many nostalgic memories of playing this game just so many years ago. And I recommend any of you who are interested in GameCube games or collecting or going back and, and in finding good games to play from yesteryear, definitely check this out. Uh, there may be better snowboarding games. There may be, you know, more robust snowboarding games. But I think what's in this is solid and is to the point and just is a lot of fun. And I'm glad that I did not overlook this in that $10 bin because absolutely, this is one of my best $10 purchases I ever, ever made. And I'm glad to have it in my collection. Let me know in the comments what you think about snowboarding games in general and 1080 Avalanche specifically for GameCube. I would love to hear your thoughts all about it. As always, thanks for watching another one of my gaming collection videos. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and I'll see you in the next video.